Hello guys, here we are again for tutorial number 18. Um, what we're going to see in this tutorial is just how we can actually add class to a student and see if we can actually do the update or edit student or delete class. Let's see what, what we have. So before you do that though, you're supposed to have this ready. Let me run the program, show you what you're supposed to have ready. This one you have done, the add student. You were supposed to have done the add class in the way that will work, okay? Pretty similar to add student, and we talked about that. Now for the edit student, this, oh, actually let me come here to the view students. This one here we did already to view the student. You're supposed to do one to view classes, okay? I only have one here that I added. You can, um, just add by coming here if you have this add class done or just run a script in SQL Server and I think we talked about that in one of the first tutorials and so you need to have that classes done for sure okay pretty similar to add to view student as well now for the edit I didn't say anything but I'll need you to have this done okay it's just this is a data grid <clears throat> Those are just buttons, update student info. You just be the same as add student, but instead of adding, I'm just gonna select the student and, and update some of the informations. Uh, delete the student, add a class to student, like that would be a type of registration, drop class and cancel. I need you to do this, and the reason I'm not gonna do it is because it's pretty similar to what we have done in the view student, because you're gonna use pretty much the same code to see this here, to, to make this work right here. Right now it's not working because I haven't done any code for it. Uh, but, and actually I think that's what we're gonna be doing now. Um, but yeah, I need you to put the data grid here, those buttons to make sure that works. Or oh, that, I mean, that it's in this format or whatever way you wanna delete, uh, you wanna design. Like right now this button's not doing anything as we can see, right? So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So, let's come out here real quick to this WPF or the XAML file. And, and let me see if I have this. Okay, I do. Okay, I want to implement the Windows loaded. And the way we're going to do it is just pretty much, as I said before, the same as we did here for View Student. Let's actually just, we can actually just go and copy that. Um, this. Ooh, students. Let's copy that and put it there and see if that's going to work. Okay, let's see the name that I gave to, to the grid. Uh, where are you? Uh, come on, edit student. Oh, you're not here. Edit student. Here we are. Oh, I call it student data, so I'm just gonna have to change that. Edit student demo. Could have called student grid again, but that should work. Okay. Let's run, because now that window is supposed to be showing me the students that I have. Okay, here it goes. I have them all here. Okay, so make sure you have that ready. My cancel button's not working either. That's pretty easy to fix. Just put um, on the cancel, we're gonna put a uh, dialog result equals false. But that's that doesn't matter at this point. Let's go for the good stuff. So. What I'm going to ask you to do also now is to create, uh, let's see how we're going to do this actually. Um, the best way I think that would be, well let me actually run the program again and show you what I'm thinking here. So when you come here, edit student, we have a list of students, I can just select one of them and press the button so that's what I want to do press the button to say I want to uh, I want to update this guy here okay so that's what we're gonna do and the way we're gonna do this will be 
let's just create a new item here guys I, I'm creating a lot of new items so you don't have to like you can actually just go and put right on that interface I just like to create so I know what's going on but I'm gonna create another WPF this WPF is gonna be I'm just gonna call that update student this one it will just be the same as the add student because when I mean update I just want to change those informations right so I can just come up here into add student if I have it uh, where are you I can never find those things uh, come on add student right here and I can just copy that copy this this part here come here and update student got the grid let me paste it this change here instead of having add I'm gonna have update student okay and I'm hoping that will do it and here it goes it did it so I've got exactly the same thing that I have there now I'll probably want to start dealing with um, the CS file so where is the CS update student and here it is the CS file what I wanted that to show first of all oh, come on I have to come here let me get the windows loaded to show up what I want to first of all to be shown here is whenever I select the student I probably wanted the information that I already have to be showing on those fields so I don't have to type it all over again so that's what the windows loaded is gonna do it and the way we're gonna do this will be by just putting the you can just put that in the windows loaded like doing this uh, let me see what's the name I have there for first name come on that will be first name so I just come here uh, I'm sorry I was kind of fast I was just looking at this first name last name and GPA right here okay so let me let me put here so first name dot I think it's supposed to, be, to use uh, text uh, it's first name dot text that should do it first name of text equals to um, well sorry I have to do something here first let's create a variable uh, an object here actually of type student private um, private student student okay I'm just creating that because I'm gonna need that too. I'm gonna have to use that you're gonna see a little bit where so let me do the same here uh, I wanna I want that student I want that student to be passed here the parameter and then let me assign that this dot student equals to student okay you're gonna see why I did that in a little bit dot now I'm, I'm actually coming straight from the database uh oh let me Remember to always put using business here in all the files that you do because otherwise you won't be able to to get to contact the database or anything like that to communicate with the database. So okay, so now it's okay. So student first name dot trim. Let's trim it again. Remember the trim was for is just make sure you don't have spaces. Okay. Now we have last name. I think yeah, last name dot text equals to student dot last name where's the last names right here the trim uh, what else do we have we have the gender 